Today we're looking at Ghosts, a Plateau Sombra. This was a VOD request on the Overwatch University subreddit where they wrote, When the match was over, the enemy team talked a lot of trash to me in the chat like I threw the game and was bringing my team down and that's why we lost. But from my point of view, I played really well for a solo queue match. Obviously I wasn't perfect. Even Lip has his bad moments. But considering Ranked doesn't have a team environment, for Ladder, I think I did good. I know the post has a everyone is against me tone, and I apologize for it, but I'm still in disbelief that we couldn't win this match, and I don't even know what to blame. Positioning? Alt use? Target focus? Bob Kotick? Well, we can definitely blame Bobby for a lot, but as far as this game goes, I will definitely do my best to help you out. We'll try to figure out why you lost and how you could have better impacted the game. As far as getting trash talk goes... Honestly, it's because you're playing Sombra. I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Sombra is kind of just an anti-fun hero. I mean, let's be honest. Her kit is centered around taking people's abilities away. Like, objectively speaking, that's just not fun to play against. You probably annoyed people uh, and they got tilted. And because they won, they used that as an opportunity to just be toxic. So... Don't worry about it. Just play your game and thrive in the fact that you're getting under people's skin like a true Sombra main would. But anyway, uh, let's get right into the VOD. First thing we always want to do is take a look at our team comp. So we got Junker Queen, Sombra Ash, Kiriko Lifeweaver. Okay, we could definitely make this work. I, I definitely think Ash and Lifeweaver could, should kind of play back kind of together. Junker Queen's wanna gonna want to get in there, and Kiriko should probably pocket her ideally. Uh, what I would really like to see you do as Sombra is kind of watch what your Junker Queen is doing and kind of time your engages uh, for, for when she goes in. So, you know, you could hack the tank maybe to, to kind of make it easier for her. You can go after one of the supports in the back line to create a little bit of chaos. Uh, that's just going to be key. I, I definitely think uh, we want to be just paying attention and trying to figure out who would be the best target and uh, just also timing our engages for, uh, like I said, when our tank goes in. So that's ideally how I would like to see this played. Let's see how it actually goes. Translocator set. Peace. You did the translocator thing to get there fast. I like it. You're mine now. Okay. You want to be a little careful about leaving your translocator out in the open, but that's fine for now to start. We could definitely move it around, of course. And it looks like you're going to go after the Zen. Nice kill. What are you doing here? Oh, okay. You're going invisible. Is Mercy going to res? Nice. I like it. Perfect. So you got a pick and you denied the res. Very well played by you and you, you get out. This is good. So uh, just in general, you want to be a little bit careful about leaving your translocator right near a health pack. Especially like if this is kind of out in the open-ish, you know, they have a Pharah. If she like flies up here, she could very easily see that. Um, I think you did a good job kind of putting it in the corner. That was smart. But, you know, maybe you could put it like right over here. Or so, you know, you're right with your life weaver. Maybe he could heal you up um, as you uh, as you warp back here. Of course, you can also like once you once you come back, you can just go right over to this health pack the same way. Uh, you just really want to just try to think about putting it in just a very hard to see place. Like high level Sombra players will never put their translocator right on top of a health pack or, ev or even near the health pack for that matter. They'll they'll always put it somewhere where it's just just hard to notice, even if you walk by it. Going back in the fight. We definitely don't want to spend too much time time out of here. We want to consistently be going back in as quickly as possible. But yeah, it seems like the Reaper kind of kind of notices us and is kind of going to peel. So we want to be careful. Nice, you get the kill again. But yeah, see Reaper. Reaper's going after us. Um, 
So we had seen him already like come over to kind of peel uh, maybe a little bit late, but he had already done that once before. You know, maybe since we're we're warping right here after we killed the Zen, we could have just, you know, warped immediately back. Reaper still would have come around. He probably wouldn't have seen us. Maybe, you know, maybe we could have gone right back in and, you know, uh, stop the mercy res again. I, I don't know. Just just something to think about. You know, if you're like right over here, like if you put your translocator right near where the fight is, you, you can always think about just, you know, going going right back instead of hanging out. I don't think they got the heat. Yeah, we're losing space and this is interesting. Peace. Just in case. Yeah, once again, don't try not to spend too much time out of the fight. But yeah, I don't know what's going on here because like it doesn't look like anyone on your team has died. Like you've gotten a couple of impactful picks, but but look at this. They're almost at, at 40 meters. So that's just really weird. I think that's kind of just an issue with your tank making space. Granted, it's hard for us to really see from your point of view because you're kind of you're kind of off doing your own thing. But uh, definitely you want to be paying attention to this because Sure, you are shutting down the Zen. You are keeping it him out of the fight, but clearly that's not helping us. Uh, so we kind of got to think about changing up our strategy. Maybe you know, being a little bit more on the front line, like helping helping Junker Queen. Maybe maybe hack the Reinhardt. That might be a, a good strategy. But definitely, uh, just try to think about what else you could do. Try to like play in a different position, stuff like that. Uh, if you see like your teams still continue to struggle, I think you're doing well, but it's just clearly going after the Zen is not what we need to do right now. No vaya a ser que lo... but yeah, you are pressuring the Farah. That's good. And we do have EMP too, so we could definitely get this off and. Let's take him to the Okay, um, hmm. so for one, like, uh, let's back that up a little bit. I just want to take a look at that EMP again a little bit more. So we throw the translocator. This is solid. Jonker Queen comes into the alt, to alt but uh, it seems like we kind of, we, we didn't really go in and we really only got like the, it looks like we really only got the, the Rhine with our EMP. So we definitely could have, for one, I definitely think we could have gone in there a little bit deeper. Uh, you definitely don't want to be afraid to do that, especially when you're, you're somber with the invisibility. Uh, you know, as long as you're not like walking in the center or touching people, nobody's going to notice you. Um, you probably won't get shot. Uh, so just, you know, go off to the side, try to try to get someone in the middle of people. And then you can, you can EMP. The other thing too is uh, I don't even know if we really needed EMP there at all because as we see, you know, Junker Queen gets three kills, but like only the Rhine. Granted, you know, that was because we only we only got the Rhine to begin with, but only the Rhine got. Um, yeah, we only got the assist with him. The the kills on the Zen and the Reaper were were without our help at all. So definitely, you know, maybe we could have held on to that. Uh, EMP, seen how, seen how the Junker Queen alt goes, and then we could have, uh, you know, maybe used it if we needed it to win the fight. Because now the other thing you got to think about, too, is, you know, we use Tree of Life, we use Junker Queen alt. So we use three alts, we're going to have Bob, we're going to have Kiriko alt, and they're coming up on pretty much all their, all their major alts. Yeah, so this just might put us at a little bit of a disadvantage. Yeah, I, I don't think we needed that Katsune, so... Yeah, we were gonna win the fight either, so that's that's even worse, because now we only have Bob for next fight, and 
Okay, they switched to Ana too, so they don't even need an ult to counter that. They could just sleep dart your Bob, and they're gonna have Shatter, Blossom, and well, Shatter and Blossom. But even so, that's that's just still probably much more impactful than than what your team has. So, yeah, that that might put us at a little bit of a disadvantage. Uh, once again, if you see your team going in with alts like that, you can maybe hold on to EMP and just. Uh, see whether or not it's necessary to to win the fight because maybe we could have held on to it and used it for this fight <laughs> definitely we want to think about setting up our translocator somewhere translocator set. okay yeah you definitely want to think about moving it around not putting it in the same place too much especially like we said before um with a, a brawly tank you kind of want to you kind of want to be in the fight a little more. You don't want to have to to warp really far out. So definitely think about like other places you can put it, like maybe around here, you know, maybe around the door, the statue, somewhere just a little bit closer where it'll only take you a couple seconds to get to get right back in the fight. And this is a little, this is a little risky uh, because it's kind of the same spot that you put it on the other side, except you're, you're close to their spawn. It could just be a little dangerous, like say somebody dies and they're, they're coming back. Uh, maybe the fair is like flying up. She could very well, uh, she might be able to see it, you know, granted they might be going down this way, but even so, they might hear the audio of you, like, translocating back. So you just want to be careful about this. Okay, good. Going after the Pharah. That party was boring. Nice. Let me get the kill on her. But, like, see what I mean? Farah's going after you now. She heard that audio because you were you were kind of close by. Uh, so we definitely want to be a little careful about this. But it's smart you evade her, hack her. Warp back, she's following you. Nice translocate. Very, very high IQ somber play. I appreciate that. But once again, while you're kind of distracting the Pharah, it seems like your team is way out there, kind of. I don't know. They might be struggling a little bit. Let's see what happens. But yeah, I would definitely move your translocator somewhere close to here. You know, maybe under like around here this could be like a good spot right in the corner where it'd be tough for people to see maybe up here you know somewhere close to the fight where you know we can drop down maybe just grab a health pack and get get right back in there we do have another emp so once again i really want to see you like getting Try to get as many people as possible with that and really just wait until your team goes in to engage so they can get the most value. Okay, hacking the health pack. Hmm. So that's a little tough. Like, so you got the EMP. That was... um. Like, you know, you basically got everyone. It looks like like Reaper cleansed it, but it, it seems like your team didn't really push on that. You know, for one, I would definitely like be pressing W if that that EMP goes out. But at the same time, I, I definitely think we might have wanted to just wait until like, you know, like I said, our Junker Queen goes in Uh before we before we use that just so we're, we're getting max value because you know even if your junker queen decided to to press her w key and go in like it's still going to be a couple seconds before she actually like really gets close enough to get value out of it so so yeah like i said 
point being, we really want to wait until like the fight is active and we're engaged before before we get that off just to get max value. Okay, this is good, you know. Creating another angle for them to look at. The Kiriko kind of fed there. Nice kill on the Mercy. But we do lose our time. Yeah, I think our front line's kind of struggling. I definitely, uh... I definitely want you, like, if we're giving up space like this, you know, we we noticed nobody was dying at the beginning and we still gave up like like 50 or so meters. We definitely want to pay attention to our tank a little more. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe she's not playing optimally, but we want to try to to see what we can do to just enable her a little bit more. I feel like we want to pay like playing act more active with her to to just try to help her a little bit because she she appears to be struggling here. So like once again you're you're kind of out here. They're they're continuing to push. I definitely want you going back with your team a little bit. Like life weavers, like get over here and help us. Nice kill on the Ana. Yeah, see, this is where you should be. This is what you should be doing. Eh. Like, where's your team really there? Okay, so your Ana kills the Rhine. But, um... Okay, I mean, yeah, it's not a terrible EMP. Once again, maybe we could have waited another second or two, but not not bad. Your team is pushing now, and it looks like they're going to take advantage of it. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're going to win this. This is good. Yeah, that isn't a terrible spot for your translocator, just because now that you guys have won the fight, the cart's going to move on down and you're going to be close to here, closer to here. But yeah, like I said, you want to try to, to always keep it somewhere just semi close, just so you don't have you want to minimize your downtime where you're getting back. You know, if you have to work. A lot. This is good. Nice. Just in case. Complete. Yeah, once again, try to throw it in the corner somewhere, but we already discussed that. So you are going after the Ana, that's good. I'm willing to bet that that, that player was one of the people who flamed you, wasn't it? Because you, you are making their life miserable. Yeah, yeah, your Ana really does a good job there. Always plan an exit. Moving along now. Okay, stop the hack. That was weird. The Reaper kind of just let you kill him. Mercy. You might have been able to. Did we have EMP there? Because we might have been able to, to stop the shatter. I want to see if we, if we had it in time. Because we're, we're at like 95. Yeah, maybe we could have like, like hit EMP right the moment we got it. Just to maybe we could have denied that. But it's a little tough. I don't know if you would have gotten it off. Locator set. Yeah, our tank definitely, uh, definitely struggled a little bit there. Pack complete. 
Much better. You're mine now. You can maybe okay. That works. Yeah, see, this is a good spot because you know you put the translocator right there. You're gonna come around. I mean, honestly, you might have been able to put it a little closer, like maybe even like right in this corner here. But even so, it's not bad because the bots right here, it's it's not gonna be a lot of downtime if you have to warp. Uh, where are we? We got the EMP, like I said, we want to really make sure we do it when we engage. No, we killed the tank already, but, you know, we're kind of using it to clean up. It's not terrible. Nice. It seems like we're doing a good job now. It's just, uh, like I said, that, um, yeah, those initial couple fights where we gave up a lot of space, it seems like it's really, really hurting us in the long run here. I like it. You're going after the DPS a little bit more. It seems like you you do recognize uh, that your team is is struggling with the pressure. So yeah, this is this is very well played right now. It's just it's all about trying to close this gap. Surrender to my will. Okay, nice. Just in case. Got the run. Try to avoid that if you can. Yeah, this this EMP is gonna be huge. We definitely need to make sure um, we try to get that off there. Ooh. Yeah. Once again, I think we kind of let's actually watch that because I feel like we were kind of out of the fight a little bit. You know, we we kind of translocated up a little bit, but uh, the Reaper gave us some pressure. So what happened here? Backing up. So we won this fight. Mm. Yeah, I think this was a little risky right here, the translocating up, because you, you kind of put yourself in a tough spot where, where Reaper pressured you. You you expended the cooldown just to get up here, and because Reaper saw you and went after you, uh, it, it kind of wasted it. I, I definitely would have been thinking about, especially when you have EMP, uh, you know, trying to play a little bit maybe closer to your team, or at the very least, not uh, not expending trans. Like, try to think of somewhere you can set it up, maybe like right around here, or I don't know, maybe here, like somewhere semi close to the bot, where like, especially in an overtime situation, you are not going to spend a lot of time away from it. Uh, and then just just setting up right right over here to, to EMP as soon as they engage on you guys. Because right now, it's all about just keeping your team on the bot. Yeah, we kind of messed up the trance, but it happens. And looks like that's the game. Yep. So yeah, I definitely think your Somber is very good. It's just all about, uh, like, you know, you were kind of playing your own game a little bit, which can often work. But if you're if you notice that your team is struggling, if your team is giving up space, we really need to to try to figure out why that's happening. Uh, definitely playing a little bit closer towards them, especially like trying to help out our tank. That can be really huge. As far as your EMP usage, uh, we definitely want to, to try to, to go deep and like 
try to get as many people as possible. Uh, you don't want to be afraid to do that, especially since you have the invisibility and, you know, absolute worst case, you can throw your translocator right in the middle of everyone to, to ensure you, you get max value. Uh, the other thing is we want to time it as our team has pushed in and is engaging just so we can get max value and, and use it to clean up. So yeah, those are my main takeaways. Uh, that's all I have. Good job. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, anything like that. And best of luck in the future.